I didn't know my papa very well before his passing. As a young child, my memories of him are clouded by the shadow of Alzheimer's disease, a terrifying presence that stole him away piece by piece. But as I grew older, I began to uncover the man behind the illness, learning stories that painted a picture of a remarkable life. Papa had fought bravely in the trenches of the Second World War, a testament to his resilience and courage. One thing that Papa and I share deeply is a passion for film and photography. Through the years, I've spent countless hours peering through the Indy lens, much like he did in his time. His legacy is rich with art and the joyful smiles of children, captured in moments that speak volumes of his love for creativity. Holding them in my hands, I felt a connection that transcended time, a bridge to the man I wished I had known better. The Bullock's camera was introduced in the 1930s. It revolutionized independent filmmaking. It was affordable, portable, and versatile. Qualities that made it a favorite among aspiring filmmakers. From the French New Wave to the American underground cinema, the Bullock's camera was there, documenting the world in a way that only indie filmmakers could. The Bullock's Railer H16 reflex camera was more than just a tool. It was the heart and soul of indie filmmaking. And through it all, the indie spirit lives on. Through the indie lens, we capture the world as it was, as it could be. Every frame a memory, every shot a story. Through the indie lens, we captured stories that the mainstream ignored. The Bullocks was more than just a camera. It was a symbol of freedom and creativity. As I now look through the viewfinder, I invite you to join me in capturing the world through the indie lens, where every story, no matter how small, deserves to be told.